we are back with Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And uh, as usual, so we had a talk, a very powerful talk from the CEO of uh, Microsoft, courtesy of YouTube, courtesy of Bloomberg. Uh, but right about now, we are having our first guest of the day. And uh, in the spirit of celebrating the reading culture, we are going to be at St. Paul's University, where we are going to be having Gugi Wathiongo and the son Mukoma Wangugi. And uh, these guys are amazing writers. It's, it's a lineage of amazing writers. So in the spirit of celebrating this, uh, we have Joseph Moore, who is an author as well from the USIU, yeah, the United States University. All right, and uh, is an author. He has a book club as well, and is just trying to promote the reading culture in Kenya, which is not quite popular. Karibu sana. Yeah, thank you. All right, nice, uh, nice Mambo to have me around. All right, Joseph awesome. Moore. Yeah. AKA, the, you told me the ladies call you Joseph Kisses. Joseph Moore. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like uh, when you Google the word Moore, uh -huh. you'll get like. You All know, right. that's how we pronounce the, the kiss word. So the ladies call yeah. you Joseph Kisses. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> they just pronounce it in the usual African way. All right. Yeah. Anyway, if I missed anything, your camera is number four. Yeah. You can tell us a brief bio of yourself. Okay. So uh, I can describe me as a, as a young, ambitious boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I'm, I'm 20 right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I started writing when I was 18. Mm -hmm. So that was the passion, that's when I developed the passion. Because I realized that in this world, the only thing that is going to liberate us from anything, if you want to be successful at anything, you'll have to first invest in your mind. So I always try to figure out, I used to read a lot of books. Actually at the age of 18 to 20, I make sure that I read at least two books a day. So now I, sat down with myself and I asked myself, how can I be able sat to... Sat down with yourself. And sat down with myself, yourself. exactly. So I asked myself, how exactly can I be able to, to give in my input mm -hmm. to people so that they can be able to, to get, to get to at least gain mm -hmm. from my knowledge? Mm -hmm. And that's when now I started writing. So I'm a writer and uh, I focus more on self-development, mm -hmm. uh, how we can be able to push people mm -hmm. because you have to be pushed. Mm -hmm. To, to be successful. So I focus on more on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I run uh, several programs, Mentor Gold Book Club, mm -hmm. which now focuses on helping people maintain the discipline of because, reading. yeah, of, okay. of reading. Because Before we talk yeah. about the reading culture, critics might ask or say, what does a 20 year old know about self improvement? What has a 20 year old seen? How do you defend yourself? when you get to hear things like this, when, you, when you're about to talk to some grown people or when you're about to present your stuff to some grown people? Well, I think for the most part, age doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is what is in your head. What matters is what is in your head. What exactly. uh, Joseph Moa, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. Don't forget Entrepreneurship Tuesday, the hashtag. Don't forget Y in the morning, the hashtag. And don't forget we are going to be at St. Paul's University. All right. So what's in your head is what matters. That's it. All right. Mm -hmm. How do you develop what, what, what's in your head? Because oh. we have a lot of influences, yeah? yeah? From the music we listen to in the Matatu, mm -hmm. what we watch on TV. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is the best way of de developing what's in your head? This thing that you say is so powerful mm -hmm. can make a 20-year-old stand in front of uh, aged people yeah. and tell them something really substantial. Okay, I think for the most part, uh, what is in your head matters a lot. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of noise out there if you're listening to the wrong people. Mm -hmm you're listening to the wrong things. Mm -hmm. So what you can basically do, it's very simple. You can just go in into books because books will never lie. Mm -hmm. Books are actually the, 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 the primary sources of knowledge. And mm -hmm. uh, you can always see the kind of book that, that you want to read, like how to make uh, money, how to do this and this and this, how to win and influence people. You can always see the exact thing that you're going to, to read. So if you read that, mm -hmm. it kind of rubs off on you, on your brain, mm -hmm. and now, uh, once you ha you get that rub off in your brain, you can go ahead now and execute that. You beginning you begin living mm -hmm. what you read mm -hmm. in those books. So that's exactly how you influence your your brain mm -hmm. for the most part. So reading is very important. Is when very we talk important. about reading, when we talk about literature, people. Uh, quickly rush into English books. Do you yeah. think vernacular books and Swahili books uh, can serve uh, the same role in improving? your knowledge. Yeah, I think uh, th that's right, because uh, we all have different languages, right? If I go to Spain, for example, I, uh, I won't be able to find any English book. If I find, uh, if maybe I 
have a chance to find one, it's only a few. Mm -hmm. There they have all the books that, um, how to win and influence people translated mm -hmm. into Spanish language. Mm -hmm. So language doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is the content mm -hmm. in the book that you're reading. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, that is what is going to help you. Mm -hmm. Because if I decide to say, uh, the only way to win in this world is to, is to, is to practice, mm -hmm. you know, as Bruce Lee said that I don't fear a man who practices a thousand kicks mm -hmm. a day, but I do fear a man who practices uh, one kick in, in uh, a thousand, a thousand times. Mm -hmm. So if I translate that into maybe Kikuyu or Kamba, mm -hmm. there is no difference. Right. It's still the same content, mm -hmm. right? So what really matters is, are you really understanding? What is in the book? What is in the book? Right. Is That's a powerful quote right yeah. there. It, uh, I, I don't fear a man who practices a thousand kicks in a day. Yeah. I fear a man who practices one kick a thousand times. Exactly. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That is a message from that line. Yeah. You have a book. Yeah, I, I do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And this book uh, is on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Right. And this book mm -hmm. is called Cutting Edge. Uh, no, exactly. That was the first one. I have a, a, a different co a different one called uh, a legend mindset. Mm -hmm. So the a cutting age was uh, was uh, a Kindle that I uploaded uploaded a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But I don't really focus on that because it's only abstract. Mm -hmm. The one I usually focus on the most mm -hmm. is called a legend's mindset. Okay. Yeah. So the cutting edge is where you started. Mm -hmm. Legend's mindset is where you are right now. That's it. And uh, a legend's mindset is what you're pushing right now. Yeah. And you'd like people to read it because you feel like there's a lot of knowledge there inside it. There is a here. lot, yeah. Right. What inspired you to write this book first? Uh, what inspired me to write that book is, um, is the fact that throughout my life, mm -hmm. I feel it's always been a cycle of learning. Mm -hmm. A cycle of learning. Mm -hmm. That's the point because I used to be with my father, I used to be with my grandfather, and they used to teach me certain things, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these things we don't get to learn mm -hmm. in school, mm -hmm. right? For the most part, when most people go to school, all they learn about is um, uh, the, the syllabus and everything that is said for them. But there is other things like uh, mental, mm -hmm. mental uh, what do you call it? mental health, mm -hmm. how to make money. Nobody teaches us those things. Mm -hmm. So we had to have someone mm -hmm. come in to give us the knowledge mm -hmm. that they've acquired mm -hmm. and they have tested and it has worked for them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I mm -hmm. decided to come in uh -huh. and uh, you know gather everything that I've ever learned ever since I was a kid uh -huh. and put that into writing. Right. So, yeah. Are you a religious person? Yeah, of course. You're a, a religious person? I am. All right, so uh, religion says we should only put our trust in God, yeah? Yeah. Uh, books are written by people. Yeah. Books are written by people. Can we trust books 100%? Yeah, I think for the most part, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We can trust We a can man. trust books 100% because I am a writer. Mm -hmm. And I know what exactly it takes to sit down, focus on an idea, mm -hmm. and give it out. Mm -hmm. Because I can come here and tell you, hey, this is the path, this is what, for example, uh, there's a saying say, that says, if you're in a room playing poker, and mm -hmm. in that minutes you don't know who the sucker in the room is, mm -hmm. you're the sucker in the room. Uh -huh. So I can't tell you that uh -huh. if I, had, I've, I hadn't experienced, experienced it. Uh -huh. So books are key. Mm -hmm. And books never underestimate the power of books, mm -hmm. actually. And I can give you an example of Warren Buffett. Do you know War Warren Buffett? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh -huh. The CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. Mm -hmm. This guy never went to school. Mm -hmm. Warren Buffett... Um, says he reads a book a day mm -hmm. ever since he was a kid mm -hmm. and you wonder why this guy is running that big an empire mm -hmm. i think he's well he's among the top 10 uh, richest people yes, in the world billions of dollars yeah, for sure the, exactly and mm -hmm. the reason is why he's there is because of reading mm -hmm. so i think the safest bet that we got mm -hmm. is books mm -hmm. and do, uh, on the issue about god mm -hmm. you see god on, only helps people who help themselves mm -hmm. So if I you, like that line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you just do if you just sit down every day and all you do is pray mm -hmm. and don't you don't do anything, mm -hmm. then I think you're living in the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. We only have we have two kinds of world. We have the spiritual world and we have the real world. Mm -hmm. So you have to go in there, mm -hmm. ask for me, uh, for that resiliency and inspiration. And inspiration uh -huh. and then come into reality uh -huh. and find a way how to deal with real world problems. Mm -hmm. And books will guide you on that.
books will definitely guide you on that yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, you have a book club. Uh, you are the CEO of an, or an organization trying to support uh, the youth in so many kinds of ways. Yeah. But I'd like to know, um, I was talking to Mukoma, Mukoma here, mm. and uh, we agreed on one thing. Yeah. The reading culture is not uh, is not alive in mm. this country right now. True. What True. do you blame this on? As somebody who has gone through the system, 844 system, you went, uh, you sat your KCPE under pressure, you sat your KCSE under pressure, yeah. and now you're into the, the American system okay. of education at USIU. You have at least gotten a taste of the American system yeah. and the 844 system. What do you blame uh, the lack of the reading culture on in this country right now? I think um, I will blame the educational system that we have. I would say it has a lot of flaws. Mm -hmm. First, the average person rarely mm -hmm. reads a book for three years. Mm -hmm. I read a very interesting uh, research about that. Because when you are going through this educational system, it kind of wires your brain mm -hmm. to associate reading with pain. Reading, you associate reading with pain. Yeah. If you don't read, you're punished. Mm -hmm. If you don't read, you fail. Exactly. You read to cram for yeah. examinations. Exactly. You read for... To evade those, uh, you know, yes. scornful from You your read to impress your parents. Exactly. You read for very uh, stupid reasons, if mm. you ask me, for lack of better words. Yeah. Uh, what should we be training these kids, these kids to read for then? I think if the educational system can find a way to to make this to rewire the brains mm -hmm. of the millennials so that now they can stop looking at reading uh, from a perspective of, I want to avoid this and this and this, and focus on reading as a means to get knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I think the best way to do this is to do away with the grading system, mm -hmm. right? Because people, most people, if you go to many classes, the most commonly asked question there mm -hmm. is what is going to come in, mm -hmm. the, in, in the exam? Mm -hmm. So when the lecturer or the teacher tells them this is what is going to come, they go ahead mm -hmm. on that specific chapter and they only read that. Mm -hmm. So the rest, they just put it away. So I think if what we should do is remove those grading system mm -hmm. and make kids mm -hmm. read more. Mm -hmm. And the very best way to do that is to show these guys that reading is right. the very best way to enlighten your mind. Mm -hmm. It opens your it opens your mind, and now you have a, a different way of thinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was in school. Uh, shout out to my literature teacher, by the way. Yeah. Uh, this was one of the books I enjoyed the most. Okay. Uh, and the reason I enjoyed this book so much. Uh, he used to tell us, read the book. Mm. Just go read the book. If mm. you want to read it or not, just go read it. Yeah. And then tomorrow, we'll talk about it in class. Mm -hmm. And then du during the, 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 the class session where we exchange ideas yeah. and uh, everybody gives their perspective on the book, it was so fun. He made it so fun mm. that if you didn't read the book, you have to read it so that the next class, you know what people are talking about. Yeah. Uh -huh. So do you think entertainment is also a way of promoting re the reading culture? Yeah, entertainment is also a way of uh, promoting that because I think uh, when you see entertainment, what it does is that it releases dopamine mm -hmm. in your brain. Mm -hmm. Dopamine hormones. When you're entertained. Yeah, when you're, yeah dopamine. Uh -huh. And so when your brain function uh -huh. with dopamine, uh -huh. you get to learn. Uh -huh. And you get you get that excitement to uh -huh. go ahead and read more. Uh -huh. But what happens with the educational system when the teacher comes in and they punish you and they tell you if you don't do this, you'll have to repeat mm -hmm. this class. Your brain uh -huh. does the opposite. And they it, profile people. You are the yeah. stupid ones. You're the yeah. smart ones. You're the middle ones. You're the cute ones. You're the ugly <laughs> ones. Uh -huh. So your brain functions with cortisol, uh -huh. which is exactly the, uh, the same opposite of of uh, dopamine dopamine uh -huh. so you your brain kind of uh you know what happens with cortisol that's the feel bad hormone uh -huh. per se so you get to uh, develop that uh feeling that you never want to read again uh -huh. because it's pain uh -huh. yeah so right. i think entertainment if we can find a way to help these guys release dopamine uh -huh. while reading uh -huh. That's a good way to go. You have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Maybe you can share it with the people before we share some content obvious from YouTube. Uh, okay. The energy and the millionaire mindset. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so your YouTube channel and your social media handles before we can get to see this. Okay. If you want to get my YouTube channel, it's Joseph Moore Talks. Mm -hmm. That's a YouTube. Uh, I still have content on Facebook. Uh, that's Mentor Gold. It's mm -hmm. a Facebook page. And also my personal page is Joseph Moore. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. You can also get me on my um, WhatsApp. 
All right, yeah. <laughs> what's up? We'll yeah. be sharing the number a little bit okay. later. But right about now, let's get some of the content Joseph Moore posts on YouTube. Let's get a taste of his mindset. Then we'll be back with some more of this interview. Don't go nowhere. Uh, energy. Mm. So, back there. Here's the point. Have you ever met with people that don't have any sense of energy at all in their life people who look bored people who just look miserable and i'll tell you what these are the kind of people that suffer from these mental health diseases i don't know whether to call them that depression and stress and everything because they don't have any energy at all in their life so here is a little secret let me let you in on it your energy affects your emotion and your confidence as well and if i look around the world everything that is related to the good life is always connected to both your emotions and your confidence okay so if you want to live a stress-free life a depression free life a life that you don't have to worry about some basic negative stuff happening in your life a life that you will be happy all day then you need to upgrade your energy levels if you want to be successful i'm talking about money business business wise and everything there is a certain not a certain everything is related to confidence everything comes down to the basic master confidence you understand and you can only gain confidence when you have energy have you ever met with people that will just convince you according to how they, they're portraying themselves with energy and everything and be like hey buddy i want to sell this product to you i think this is this and then you just kind of feel like you're pulled to buy their product those are the kind of people that get very successful you want to be there then you have to be confident you have to be confident and you can only gain your confidence when you raise your energy okay you can only win interviews when you answer those questions with confidence okay and confidence really really lies on your energy you don't have energy you don't have confidence okay there's no rebuttal against that so you want to be successful old sport you want to live a life that yes that is a joseph moore talks on youtube I hope you learned something from that. If you need some more insight, please head to his YouTube channel and just get inspired. I'm interested to know how you started doing this thing. Okay, I say mm -hmm. everything has a start. Mm -hmm. And there's a saying, step by step you get ahead, but not necessarily in fast spots. Mm -hmm. So you see, the reason is to why most people don't really get to live to their ultimate potential is because they are waiting for that period mm -hmm. Where now they're gonna have all the resources, mm -hmm. everything that they need. A period that might never come. Exactly. And In that most period cases, never, it comes. never comes. It never Nine comes. Nine times out of ten, the moment never comes. It never comes. Mm -hmm. So for me, what I decided is that I have an inner feeling mm -hmm. uh, that is actually driving me mm -hmm. to, to move forward and spread this news to the people. So what I had to do was start. I wasn't that confident. Actually, I remember when I did my very first, I have like 62 videos on, on, on YouTube. When I did my first video, I used to freak out. Mm -hmm. You see that camera fever. Mm -hmm. And self-criticism. Exactly. I would, oh, shit, I think I'm not good at this and this and this. But then I told myself, you know what, kid, this is, you've got to do this more often. Mm -hmm. And now 62 videos later, mm -hmm. I am confident. Mm -hmm. I can share out my opinion mm -hmm. and everything to the world. Okay. So I'll tell people, all you need to do mm -hmm. is get started. Mm -hmm. And for the millennials, they don't realize it that the greatest asset that they got mm -hmm. is their phones. Mm -hmm. That single device that they have, it's more powerful than the first rocket that got man, the man in the moon. Mm -hmm. So they have to make use of it. It has a camera, it has the social, it can access the internet. Mm -hmm. So what... You can communicate with yeah. anybody from anywhere on this from, planet. Yeah, exactly. So what else are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. No resources. The chances of you winning a lottery or getting someone to tell you, hey, I've got to invest in you. I can see you have this idea. Mm -hmm. I like the chances of getting hit by a, 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 met, a scrap metal from a plane above. Right. Very minimal. But when you put your content out there, you don't know who's going to see it. I don't. It's always very important to put your content out there. Yeah. If you, if you want to do something phenomenal. Yes. Sir. Very important. Mm -hmm. So all you had to do is start. All I had to do was that. Amazing. Mm -hmm. How can people get to join the book club? Okay, I'd say uh, the book club is running mm -hmm. in three parts of uh, major cities that we have in Kenya. There's one in Nairobi, there's one in Machakos, and there's, a, uh, there's one in Thika. Mm -hmm. So You're coordinating all this. I'm coordinating all this. So if they want to join, and we are looking for serious people, people who really understand the value 
of knowledge. You see, my uh, my mentor told me, listen, kid, this uh, in this world, people who are going to end up controlling everything, people who are going to end up running everything, mm-hmm. are people who are willing to sit down. Charlie Manga calls this as he do it. Mm-hmm. Sitting down, putting your butt in the chair, mm-hmm. taking a book, and read. Mm-hmm. Those, Those are, are the, the kind people of people going that to will the control world. the world. Mm-hmm. But for the rest of the guys that are not willing to do that, it's going to be a hard bet for them. Uh-huh. Yeah, if they decide to go through the school of hard knocks, well, you know the results, right? Okay. Yeah, they will get their uh, their their success at the age of sixty or seventy. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a big fan of um, Hollywood, Beverly Hills, mm-hmm. to be pre- precise. And I usually like to watch all the YouTube videos to do with all, all these guys who do vlogs and everything. And one common thing I realize is that the people that you see driving all these fancy cars, mm-hmm. Lamborghini, I'm talking cars like Ferrari, mm. you know, all these fancy, fancy sports cars mm. are people who are old uh-huh. because they got their success at 70. Why? Uh-huh. Because they decided to use the school of hard knocks. Mm-hmm. They didn't realize that you can use a shortcut mm-hmm. and the shortcut is learning it from other people's experience. Who have done it already. Who have done it al- right. already. So there's no new thing under the sun. No new thing. You just take it yeah. and make it your own. Exactly. Powerful. Mm-hmm. So the best way to learn from other people is through books. Books. So you're coordinate, coordinating a book club uh, in Machakos, Nairobi, yeah. and Thicker. Mm-hmm. All right. How can people get to join it? We were to talk about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, they can reach me mm-hmm. personally. Your camera is number four. They can reach you. Can, into that. Mm-hmm. You can reach me personally on my um, um, official contacts, mm-hmm. my number precisely, mm-hmm. and you can also send an email, a serious mm-hmm. email, because as I said before. We're looking for serious people who understand the real value mm-hmm. of knowledge. Mm-hmm. These are the people who are gonna run the world ten years, twenty years to come. From now. From the now. People who are willing to read. Exactly. The people who want to get some content in there. Yes. Head. So right. yeah, they can reach me out through the number. My uh, number, my official number. Through the number. You can say the number all over again uh, as we wrap this up. The number is zero seven nine six seven hundred two nine two. All right. So yeah. for somebody who's watching and uh, maybe the last book they read was in high school, uh, was a set book. Uh, what can you tell them? Uh, what advice can you give them in terms of picking a book to read? Because when you go to a library or when you go to a bookstore, yeah. you have motivational books, you have fictional books, you have uh, romantic books, you have all sorts of books, you have yeah. history books, there are all kinds of books. How can somebody get to understand uh, what they're going to be interested in as a book to read? Well, I think uh, for me, you can actually focus uh, on the, the four major, major pillars of a good life. Mm-hmm. Number one, we have health, mm-hmm. wealth, mm-hmm. love, and happiness. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at everything that happens in this world, mm-hmm. it always revolve around those four pillars, mm-hmm. right? A book about wealth, mm-hmm. you can always find that, okay? Once in a while, once in a month, you a week or something like that, you read a book about wealth and how to create all these things, how to do your taxes, Mm -hmm. how to do this. You don't really have to be a finance student Mm -hmm. to learn about these things. Mm -hmm. You can always just go to the library and pick a book about that, learn about saving, learn about debentures, all these things. Mm -hmm. Uh, That will save you time to get, you know, it will save you, you know, a lot of struggle from having to deal with people who want to turn you into the sucker. Mm -hmm. A book about wealth. Mm Right, that's the one I'm talking about. A book about a health. A book about wealth will help you in the streets of Nairobi. Yeah, sure. a book mm-hmm. about health is as well. It will uh-huh. keep you fit. Uh-huh. A book about love. Uh-huh. Love is like friends, family, uh-huh. and acquaintances. Uh-huh. It'll help you know how to and associate people. Sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. how to associate people because we have a lot of mentally unhealthy people per mm-hmm. se mm-hmm. Uh, out there. So you so know it gives how you the social skills. Per se. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have to know how to exactly read people. Mm-hmm. Right, a book about happiness as well. How to deal with stress. How mm-hmm. to deal with depression, anxiety, and all mm-hmm. these things. So the four pillars of life. The four pillars. Wealth, health, love, love and happiness. happiness. Make sure you get a dose of that every time you pick a book to read. Exactly. Thank you very much for coming through to Why in the Morning. Nice. Yeah, I, pref- I appreciate you, Mr. Joseph Moore. Thank you. Thank yes, you. in the spirit of uh, celebrating the reading culture, we are going to be at St. Paul's University with Ngugi Wathiongo and uh, Mukoma Wangu Gi. Yes, and uh, we have the amazing author here, uh, Joseph Moa, is a motivational speaker as well. At the age of 20, at the uni, at the USAU, right? Yeah. 
All right, thank you very much for coming through to Y in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. We appreciate you so much. Cal uh, Hilda Wathithi and uh, Joy Muchashe still have interviews lined up for you guys, so don't go nowhere, don't touch that dial. The Bounce is also going to be live on location at St. Paul's. Uh, we enjoyed Saturday with Marsh Auto, and this is that season where we celebrate the Y254 anniversary, so we might be coming to a hood near you, so keep it locked to Y254 for more information.